Hey guys, John B here from Phone Arena. Right now I'm checking out the new iPad on the left and on the right being the iPad 2. I've been running a few different benchmark tests on both tablets and I'm going to show you the results really quick too afterwards. But before I get started, I just want to let you know this is a perfect example why sometimes benchmark tests don't really show the true potential of a device just because uh, sometimes they're not optimized, sometimes they are optimized to specific things. But the true, true test is basically the real world performance and of course both tablets deliver a great great experience just because they're super responsive here on the home screen it's almost negligible you really can't tell which one's faster just because they exhibit the same fluid fluid movements on top of that for things like opening up applications uh, connect scrolling pinch zooming stuff like that instantaneous nearly follows on both so no problems uh, with those those basic functions so um let's run the uh, first test uh, and show you exactly what it is now before I do that the new iPad features the Apple A5X system on a chip, so it's a 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU and also features a quad core uh, GPU, whereas on the, I the iPad 2, it only features a an 800 megahertz dual core CPU. So with that quad core GPU, you kind of get the hint that it sh the new iPad should excel in terms of gaming. So let's get started here. Let's run the first test. It's gonna be Linpack. And I'm going to show you really quick. We'll just do make the selection here. We'll run it, and it should be very quick. So let me zoom in so you guys could see exactly what it says here. So um, with the new iPad, uh, actually the results are pretty much identical. We ran this hunt, you know, quite a few times, ten, at least ten times, and the results always always the same, very similar on both. So there's no, there's not one that's better than the other. So the new iPad finished it in 0.7449 seconds. Uh, the new uh, the iPad 2 is 0.7456 seconds, 896 megaflops per second, 896. So honestly, no difference whatsoever with uh, Lintpack. So let's get out of there. Let's run um, this other one here. Let's run uh, the let's do the uh, 3D benchmark test here. Show you that. I'm um, just put this. Let me zoom out, and we're gonna put this in landscape. Oops, we already ran the test here, so let's wait for that to start. Actually, let's get out of that, and let me run that test one more time on both devices simultaneously, so you can see it. So let's run the 3D benchmark test. A little bit uh, more of a graphical um, benchmark test here, so you can see a difference. So iPad 2, iPad, new iPad on the left, new, uh, iPad 2 on the right. Let's get this started, so hit no. And you can tell just with the uh, frame rate with both devices, pretty steady, 60 frames per second. You know, these, this, this uh, benchmark test, the game there wasn't really the most graphically intensive, but whatever, it uh, shows us the results here. So it took roughly the same time, 8.2 seconds, the same average frames per second, 60. So pretty good scores, nothing different whatsoever with this test. And the last one we'll just quickly, sh quickly show you is the uh, Comet benchmark test. Another graphical test here showing the 3D capabilities. So here we are. Now, now, this is strange here. This is a perfect example. The iPad 2 is showing 56 frames per second, 54 frames per second with just a single comment, while the uh, new iPad a lot lower at 40 frames per second. And if we increase the amount of comments, let's jump it up to its maximum. So 10, 10, 10 different um, comments here. And you could tell that the uh, frames, the, the uh, frames per second on the uh, iPad 2 is still top notch at 60, not moving whatsoever, whereas on the uh, new iPad, only 40 frames per second. So it makes you really wonder why the uh, new iPad uh, is lacking with this one here. Again, it could be just simply that the app's not optimized for that. That could be the simple case here. But the other test I'm gonna show you here is Epic Citadel, just uh, more of a graphical test here. Uh, doesn't show you any figures or anything like that, but it just shows you the the uh, graphics capability of both devices. And then we'll play, you know, a, a game really quick to show you um, how 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 they perform. So visually, very nice. They're able to produce some sharp-looking graphics. I'm just lower down the volume here so you can hear me. So here we are, Epic Citadel. We could tap, and you could tell that both are moving very fluidly. We could move, and as you can tell, as we're moving, they're pretty much in the same same pace here. So no no issues whatsoever. Let's uh, try and go to this area here with the uh, smoke, so we could see actually the torch here. Let's go near the fire, and show you that. 
So even with things like, because normally smoke effects do do become a little bit more processor intensive, both exhibit really nice responsive movements. And this game doesn't really doesn't really tell us the difference between the two, but we'll show you another one. So both are great when it comes to gaming. It looks like uh, they're both fast with this specific uh, benchmark test. But the one that we'll really show you here is just, uh, we'll run a game, run uh, two games here. What we have, uh, let's run Grand Theft Auto 3. Let's run that. Now, we've been playing the games on both tablets, and from my experience, it's definitely, definitely no question about it. The new iPad excels in the gaming aspect versus the uh, the iPad 2. It just seems like the controls are tighter, more responsive. You could kind of tell that there's a little bit of delay, almost like a lag with the uh, with the iPad 2's uh, execution. But both are still able to produce some nice looking visuals. You just get tighter controls on the new iPad, and ultimately, you know, when the when it's uh, pretty packed, you know, the action, uh, you just get more control with the new iPad. So here we go, let's uh, wait for this here. It's gonna be hard trying to play on both tablets at the same time here. So here we go, ready? So when we're playing with the iPad 2, we definitely notice that it's a little bit more sluggish with its controls. You can tell if I'm moving left and right, it, there's just a tiny bit. It's not that bad at all, but it, you do notice just that it's kind of laggy, uh, kind of behind with the response. But with the new iPad, it is a lot more instantaneous. It's able to keep the uh, the frame rate at a steady rate too, so it's able to actually present us with a uh, more responsive, tighter control, which is nice. And that's one route that we see that the uh, that the iPad two, the new iPad is better in terms of just a gaming performance. And the last game here is just going to be. Modern Combat 3, a really graphically intensive game. Show you this real quick. Also with this here, it's uh, we do notice that both are great. Let's just get the settings here. Let's just hit continue. Try this again here. So um, both are really good in terms of gaming, but again, we just noticed just a tiny bit better um, better results on the new iPad. It's not by much with this game. Again, it could be just the fact that these games haven't yet been optimized to take advantage of the new system on chip that's available with the uh, new iPad. But as we, as developers, make more games, uh, they'll definitely take advantage of the processing power with the new iPad. But for this game here, now we're just watching, you know, the the visuals here. You could tell that the iPad 2 has just a slight little bit of choppiness, you know, miss frames, whereas on the new iPad, it doesn't miss a beat whatsoever. So you'll take a look at this here real quick. So here, you, you notice already right there, as it panned very quickly with the smoke effects and all the uh, of all the other helicopters, you notice just a slight, some missed frames there, while the iPad, with the new iPad, it maintains its movement. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the, uh, just a quick look at some of the benchmark tests on the new iPad. Of course, uh, it's still early on. We just hope to see that more developers take advantage of the uh, graphics, the uh, pro the uh, processing capability of the uh, of the of the new iPad, so it produce better looking games. But in turn, you know, um, as far as just the actual real world performance, it's hardly noticeable, especially with uh, with uh, some of the basic uh, tasks out there. You know, opening up applications, the fluidity within the web browser, it's all the same. It's not too much of a difference. Uh, we assume that it's going to be the most noticeable. It's going to be more noticeable with things like gaming down the road, uh, but we'll see that. So if you'd like to learn more about this, guys, you could check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching.